Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So let's start with the tutorial. So obviously first I'm going to moisturize my face and my lips. Okay, for that I'm going to use Nivea moisturizer and um, Maglam lip balm. So here are the products I'm going to use to moisturize my face. If you have very dry skin, go ahead with this one and apply a generous amount of this because it's a very good moisturizer and it is good for dry and dry if you feel very dry after your makeup on eyes because just because of the constant pressure of brushes and you know everything mascara liner so it will may irritate your eyes so this one is very good for after and before so highly recommend this one okay for foundation i'm going to use this matte look foundation in the shade number 04 ivory it's a very nice foundation it will give you that uh, medium to high coverage so that is why i'm going to use this foundation it's very nice foundation it has quite good yellow undertone but it's a not my correct match because my skin is getting very light okay so that is why uh, but still I'm going to use this foundation because I don't want to waste my foundations Yeah I'm going to use my mask beauty blender Just blend this foundation. It's very nice foundation. So beautiful Just looking like a wow ha 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 Okay For concealer, I'm going to use this Inside HD Concealer in the shade number LN10. It's a very nice high coverage concealer. So, must try this one. It's a very, very, very mattifying. So, it is good for oily skin. And it's very high coverage. Seriously. So, this is my contouring. And I need more highlight under my eyes. So, that is why I'm going to use a very light peach your white corrector to just highlight my to just highlight my under eyes over here so next for my cream blusher i'm going to use this shade from record cosmetics and this is the shade number unforgettable and you can definitely see it is quite used and you can see that huge dent and I'm going to mix two blushes today. First is this one. Next is my that pinky movie color. And next is this shade. This is the shade number Goosebumps from the same brand. This is my favorite because it's a mauve color. I'm just going to mix these two colors and I want very highly pigmented chicks. First, I will be using this palette. So, first of all, I will use the white shade to set my eyelid so that my eyeshades will not crease throughout the day. So, that is why I am going to use the white shade from Makeup Revolution palette. And next, I am going to use the yellow shade from this palette, like this yellow shade. And going to tap it over here. Now I'm going to use this orange color. It's a kind of a brown orange color. Going to tap it over here. Next, I'm going to use this palette and I'm going to use this shade, this shade and a little bit of this one, okay? For 
first I'm going to apply the purple shade like a very little amount because a little goes very long way okay so I'm just going to tap this color now the burgundy one dark burgundy now the bright pink one I'm going to take this much mount and mix it here really well I'm going to use this palette and I'm going to use this shade to set this cream okay first I'm going to blend this one going to stab it I'm going to apply the same shade on my lower lash line Next, I'm going to use this K Beauty palette in the variant number Wild and Free. And I'm going to use the black color to make it more intense. And I'm just going to use black shade near my lash line. Just over here. Next, I'm going to use these powders again to just revamp everything. Like there should be no fallout if there is any fallout. So these translucent powders will remove it very easily. That is why I'm using this palette. For bronzer, I'm going to use this SFR Pure Color Blusher in the shade number Naked Apricot. It's a very nice brown tone blusher it's very oh you know warm tone you can definitely use this on naked skin as well like it is good for bridal makeup also next again for bronzer i'm going to use this shape and it's a shimmer bronzer and it will give you that sun kiss look and i love 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 sun kiss look so that is why i'm just going to use this bronzer Next for blush, I'm going to use this palette. This is from Swiss Beauty. And I'm going to use these three shades. And same highlighter I'm going to use to highlight my face. Mm, this highlighter is so good. And for lipstick, I'm going to use this NY Bay lipstick in the shade number Mocha Magnus. And for the inner lip, I'm going to use this coral shade. And, and this is the Mocha Madness shade. You can definitely leave it like this, but I like to apply this nude shade. I'm going to apply some gloss from Mars Cosmetics. So this is the final finished look. You can definitely see it is looking the same as the picture I showed you earlier. And if you want to learn more and more makeup looks, then please do like, subscribe and share. And let me know in the comment box, did you like this makeup look? And I just love this highlight. This is all created by, you know, affordable makeup products. and. It's